Are you a biker? Do you like to be prepared for whatever circumstances might occur? Do you enjoy drinking copious amounts of brown liquor? Have you ever been troubled by strange noises in the middle of the night? Have you or one of your friends ever seen a spook, specter, or ghost? Oh, wait, I, no, never, never mind. I was thinking of a movie from the 80s involving ghosts and stuff. Not what this video is about. Hey everybody, Red with the Iris Zombie Nation. Today, we're gonna be taking a look at a biker's everyday carry bag that involves going out and drinking. <laughs> Who would have thought? Iris Zombie Nation, old Red here likes some brown liquor. So, see that bag over here on my bike? Let me grab it real quick. You might have seen this bag before. Remember this bag? I think I did a review on this a while back. This is a VanQuest Gopher 15 or 17, I can't remember which, but anyway, this has become my New Mexico desert everyday carry bag when I'm going out to hang out with some friends or whatever. So we're gonna get to the ins and outs of a biker's everyday carry drinking bag. Thanks for joining me. So let's dig into this bag. First of all, like I said, this is a VanQuest bag. It's made out of Kodora. It's very nice. I dig it. I've had it for a long time. What I like about it is this little pass-through compartment right here slips over my sissy bar, and then I just, I can strap it down if I want to. I don't need to. I usually just put this underneath it so it's not flapping around, and we are good to go. So let's get into the ins and outs of a biker's EDC drinking bag, if you will. Got a hero clip up here. That's a little carabiner that I can uh, manu uh, manipulate around like unfold and such and then you can hang it from a tree I've shown one of those before too so let's get into the bag uh, first of all on the outside I've got these pouches right here out here I've got an SE card it's one of those little survival card deals that you get when you buy an SE knife I've had that in there for a long time I've got a pair of toe warmers in case it gets cold I haven't had that problem out here yet but it will eventually for some reason I have some alcohol prep pads in there and some Irish Zombie Nation stickers and patches to give out if I meet someone that's watched the channel and they recognize me or whatever. Over here, I have, let's see, I have that SE card, which I threw in this side for some reason. I've got my motorcycle registration and I've got a pair of cheap dollar store aviator shades I keep as backup in case I break another pair. All right, so let's get into the bag. First of all, like I said, this is all about a drinking bag. This is going to hang out have a few with some friends, whatever. I got my whiskey bottle. This is a 40 ounce clean canteen. Got some different stickers on it right now. I'm trying to, you know, coat it out. This way it's uh, different from my water bottle. So there's my 40 ounces of whiskey right on the outside, readily available. Of course, it's uh, not as readily available as the water is, and I'll show you why here in a second. All right, let's get into the bag. All right, main compartment. I have a Condor H2O pouch. It's got this little 511 water droplet patch thing there so you know it's water but i already know that i don't know why i have it on there anyway but anyway in here what i have another 40 ounce clean canteen full of ice water so the whiskey's in this one the whiskey has all of the different like stickers and tape and stuff on it so i know which one's whiskey and which one's water i've made that mistake before uh and you go to drink some water after some whiskey and you drink more whiskey and that's not a good thing depending on you know what your your mood is at the time so 40 ounce ice water right there and then in the front pouch of this I've got a bunch of these little, there's a whole bunch of them in there, a bunch of these little iced tea packets that I make. That's what I back my whiskey with is iced tea, peach flavored iced tea specifically. I love that stuff. Thought about trying peach whiskey and then back it with peach iced tea, but I don't like flavored whiskey. I don't know. So in combination with that, I've got my Tokes Titanium. This is the 850 milliliter and I've got nest inside of there, the 375 milliliter, I think. it. No, this is the 450 milliliter. So. I like, I don't like to just drink out of the bottle like a wino or a boozer or something, you know, that's kind of, that's kind of alcoholic, right? So you got to pour it into a nice cup that way you feel more like a gentleman. And then I take the water and the tea. I've got uh, gradation marks in here that show the uh, different ounces and such. So I know exactly how much tea to make, carry that. And that's my little drinking kit right there. And then down below inside of here, I'm not gonna open it up and show you. This is just a little dry bag with a extra pair of underwear because you never know, man. Yeah, I'm getting older, you never know. You just never know. You might end up somewhere, you think you got a fart and it's not a fart and then you need to change your drawers or you're gonna be walking around with a sticky mess all day. That's never a good thing. 
All right, in addition to that, I've got a little mini first aid kit right here in this Maxpedition pouch. That is so, uh, you know, if I'm drinking copious amounts of whiskey and I happen to fall down or one of my buddies does, then I can help them out. You know, maybe maybe there's a Band-Aid in there or something. This is my admin pouch. I carry this around. I've got battery bank, Swiss Army knife, all kinds of crap in there. I did a video on this a while back. You can check that out if you want. Uh, on the other pouches here, I don't know why I have these in here. Probably from when I was out shooting last time, but some Smith & Wesson earplugs stuck down in this little section. I've got one Sharpie, you know, in case I get too drunk and I need to write down like where I'm at or something like that. So the, so, uh, you know, I can find my way home the next day. Uh, I don't have anything in these back. Actually, I do have something back here. There's these little slip pockets. Once again, with the drinking, this is a biker's EDC drinking bag, right? I got a emergency blanket and a little poncho. So if it rains and I get cold and I have to sleep next to the bike on the ground, I've got shelter. Look at that, right? Shelter right in there. <laughs> All right, and then down in here, last pouch, uh, more whiskey, <laughs> right? Uh, 40 ounces might not be enough. You never know what's going to happen. So I got this little three ounce flask right here. I don't know if you can see that. It says to my health, a little medicinal cross on here. So this is medicinal only. This goes with the first aid kit, right? But I just carry it over here for easy access. Uh, that's pretty much it. And then there is a spot I'm going to show you on the back side of the bag. I'm going to show you. Dog, be quiet. Back side of the bag right here, you open this up. And in here right now, I've got my SIG P365 along with a spare magazine. I normally don't carry that in here. It's normally on my body, but this time it is in the bag instead. So that's pretty much it, guys. That is the new New Mexico, the new New Mexico everyday carry biker drinking bag. So that's it, everybody. That's the new updated EDC whiskey tango drinking bag for the desert sitting right there on the sissy bar as you can see i said it just slips on and off using that little section right there now it can slide around a little bit when it's like that so i can't i have a bunch of extra bungee cords i could strap it down if i'm going a far distance sometimes i'm not though i'm not going that far and it just sits there it's got enough weight in there it's not really an issue uh now let's talk about the fact that i've got you know a big drinking bag and stuff on my bike no i do not drink and ride that is the dumbest thing you could possibly do. Do not get drunk and ride your motorcycle. It's, I mean, most people can't get drunk and drive a car, so why would you think you could do it on two wheels? Don't do it, I don't do it. If I go somewhere, I'm staying there. If I'm gonna drink all that whiskey, I'm not gonna drink all that whiskey, just so you know. But if I were to drink too much, I'm gonna stay wherever I'm at. I've got a, a blanket right there, I can sleep on the ground, I've got an emergency blanket in there, I even have a poncho. I mean, what else do you need? Uh, that's pretty much it guys. Uh, I don't know what else to say, but I do want to show you something. There is a new member of the IZN K9 division. Let me grab him right now. All right, everybody. I want you all to say hello to Cholo. Say hi, Cholo. Yes, you just like a dick, don't you? Cholo is the newest member of the IZN K9 division. He is a Chihuahua Pitbull mix. I think they're called Cheap Hits, if I remember correctly. I got him at the local animal shelter. I don't buy expensive dogs. I save dogs. And uh, this is the newest member that I have rescued. He is a very cute little four-month-old puppy who is annoying right to death. Uh, she doesn't like it. She's getting older, and he's just wanting to play and cuddle all the time and hang out, and she's not digging it. So say hi, Cholo. Yeah, his name's Cholo. Yeah? <laughs> all right. So that's it today, guys. Thanks for joining me. Like, share, subscribe, comment down below. Let me know what you think of my EDC drinking bag getup. Uh, is that something you might consider, you know, making your own little EDC drinking bag? If so, put in the comments below what you would add or what you would take away, how you would set yours up. Once again, thanks for joining me, and until next time, we'll catch you down the road.